Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Rudy Trevino. And I'm Leslie Adamy. At the top tonight, the city of Corpus Christi trying to attract developers to invest in downtown. That's right, a brand new study tonight taking a look at the demographics of real estate in the downtown area and how the city can work to entice more people to live downtown. Our Michael Gibson has more details on the next move city leaders are ready to make in tonight's top story. A 2021 downtown residential market study shows that only 1% of the folks here live and work in downtown. Another interesting fact from the study is that nearly all of the apartments or condos for rent are full up. While there is a market demand for more downtown rentals, the study says a developer would need a subsidy of some $30,000 per unit for a new development because of a lack of parking. Which Mayor Paulette Guajardo says this study is a great tool to have so the council will know what it needs to do to keep transforming the downtown area. And do we need to change our policy? Do we need to look at our incentives? Do we need a hybrid of upfront incentives versus, uh, you know, performance incentives? This TERS downtown committee is made up of the mayor and city council members. Councilman Gil Hernandez tells 3 News by what he heard, the city also needs to try harder to get local developers to look at downtown. Fort Worth has done a tremendous job of redeveloping their downtown. Now they had a, ba a benefactor of the Bass family, but that's basically what they said too. You need to go find an investor or benefactor. Alyssa Barrera Mason is the executive director of the downtown management district and is promising to use the study to drum up interest here and from across the state. We'll also be meeting with developers and investors from across the state to tell them why downtown Corpus Christi is a good investment and then bringing recommendations back to the board uh, to help move and invest in some of these projects. Another issue that came up through this study is the lack of condos in downtown for people to buy. People like City Councilman Mike Pusley say they wouldn't mind living downtown but could they find a place to actually buy? Colby Clark is the assistant manager for the Nueces Lofts. He tells us he's lived in the downtown area for 10 years, and he says over the past five years, it's really grown, and he feels entertainment is a big factor in all that growth. The entertainment factor, that's what brings people downtown, and I think that's what makes people want to move down here as well. The downtown management district will now also get to work on coming up with a plan of action for council members to consider as they continue to try and revive what was once the center of activity in Corpus Christi. Michael Gibson, 3 News.